And that's right, Nikki. I'm in the KRQE News 13 conference room where tonight this will actually be the call center for the Toys for Tots program. We're going to have the Albuquerque Police Department, the Albuquerque Fire Department, and of course we're going to have the U.S. Marines right here taking in those calls and pledges for Toys for Tots. This is the last big push uh, for the Toys for Tots program to bring the smiles to the needy kids. And today I have Major Brian Sillison uh, with us who leads the Delta Company 4th Reconnaissance Battalion. Good morning. Good morning, Kristen. So glad to have you. So thankful for everything that you guys do to bring toys to kids every single year. Now, what are you guys looking at for toys for TOTS this year? Where, where are we at right now with that? Well, uh, Kristen, right now we're very short on our toys. Um, we have more families that have registered to the Department of Community and Family Services. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have the toys to uh, meet the demands at this point in time. So. This effort's going to be very important for us today mm -hmm. to try to get the what we're calling the last big push. Right, and I don't even know if I mentioned this earlier, but we're going to have Mayor Richard Berry is going to be here too for this last big push. So we really want everybody to call in later on this afternoon, this evening, and and really bring in the toys so that way all these kids can wake up to a Merry Christmas and a Happy mm -hmm. Christmas this year. Now, can you explain to us a little bit about how it all works? Well, uh, the the last big push for us. Um, starts today with the call center event here at KRQE. Mm -hmm. And really, uh, the unit here in Albuquerque has 10 active duty Marines. We have 90 reservists, but half of those guys are deployed right now. We're mobilizing, getting ready to deploy. So we're really short staff. So mm -hmm. the, uh, the best part of this entire program is not that the Marines are running it, uh, but that we team up with the entire community. Right. And I am, was surprised last year just to see how many people came out to make sure they could dig deep into their pockets. And it really started with the leadership from the mayor's office, the fire department, the police department, and the U.S. Marines together. And there was uh, nothing that we couldn't do. Wow, look at all those toys. I think this is video of, of some of the folks uh, bringing in the toys. And of course, you guys help sorting them out. All you have to do is look for this big white box, right? And then, and then bring your toy and, and drop it in there. Well, do the toys need to be new? The toys need to be new and unwrapped. So okay. you can see what, the, what we're getting. Uh, our rule of thumb is we try to go for a toy up to not to exceed $25. Mm -hmm. But uh, the general public, as you can see here uh, with us, has been donating all sorts of toys. So what we do is we break it up into by age and gender okay. to ensure that uh, the parents, when they come and do their shopping spree, they have an opportunity to get something that their children will like. I and mean, that's a really neat part about it is you get all these toys in and then the parents get to go to, is it the, which where do they go for this to pick uh, up the toys? To pick up the toys, we're in the East Exhibit Hall of the Albuquerque Convention Center. To the convention center. And then the parents get to pick up uh, these toys, and they get to pick out what they want for their kids. Now, you said there is a shortage of toys. How many applicants have you had? We year? have uh, 3,000 applicants as of this morning, and mm -hmm. we're expected to have five to 800 more applicants today. And that's families. Each family has two to five children, so we could wow. have 10,000 children very easily. And right now, do you have enough toys for those applicants? Right. Or you're we do not? not. You do, we not. do not. So we really, really, really want to get those, those toys in. And now, how does it feel when you see, to know that you're doing this for the kids and seeing the kids? Like, wh what does it make you feel like to do this? Well, uh, not having been involved in a big charity operation before, it, there is a good feeling and satisfaction. And on December 25th, when we wake up with our own families, we know that we've done something to help the community. But uh, I don't think the, 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 the good part is with the kids. Mm -hmm. I really believe it's with the parents. And I met several parents last year who, who uh, were very touched and they had a gleam in their eye that they could provide something for their children. They didn't have to make a choice between providing a good meal or, or providing toys for the kids. And that's where I think that it's really important is you give those parents the opportunity. Yeah, and we, and we definitely want to do that again this year. And you guys continue to do this every year. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about how tonight's push is going to play out, times and all that stuff? Well, the, the Marines will be here at KRQE at, at around 3.30 p.m. Okay. And we'll start accepting calls around 4 p.m. 4 p.m. And then that's going to go through our 6 o'clock newscast as well. How long will you guys actually be we'll, here We'll evening? stay here until 7 p.m. taking calls. Okay. And the, the beauty of this is the mayor is going to be here pushing the program for us. The uh, uh, police department, the fire department, and the police and volunteers from the city are mm -hmm. going to be out in the community gathering up these donations. Now, do you guys need more volunteers? I know, to, I know that you mentioned earlier that there was at one point in time a shortage of volunteers. The, the, there is a shortage of volunteers right now to take us all the way through the last day of distribution. But uh, um, right now, we're, we're looking for volunteers to help us set up, to sort, to count the toys, make sure mm -hmm. that the warehouse is organized appropriately, or the exhibit hall in this case. Right, this and, and we do want to mention too that today is the last day to register. If you are one of those families and need the toys for your kids, that you want to go ahead and do that today. Yes, right. absolutely. 
And uh, we're working very closely with the Department of Community and Family Services, and they're doing a phenomenal job in, in making sure that they, they have an opportunity to register. And real quickly, some of the locations where, where can people bring in their toys or and well, donations? Uh, right now, KRQE has a box here that they will keep open until the end of distribution. Uh, they could bring uh, straight to the Albuquerque Convention Center, both on the west side and the east side, if they want to okay. meet the Marines. And then on uh, December 12th, the mayor, at 5 o'clock in the morning, is going to be in the parking lot of American Home on Carlisle and Manal. And that is going to be our big final climatic ex uh, you know, uh, effort to uh, bring in big donations. Effort. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And real quick, phone number that people can call? Uh, if you, if you want to get a hold of uh, local Marines, call 505-604-4206. And, of course, we'll have that number on our website, casa.com, and we'll have the website information for Toys for Tot on that website as well. Now, coming up next, must-have gadgets for your tech-savvy loved ones. You're going to want to stick around for this.